Hi, my name is Stella and in this lesson I will provide you with a simple set of rules and checkpoints for positioning your product within the social media landscape. There are a few fundamentals to help you leverage social media from a marketing perspective and this simple guide will help you stay on your track and achieve your goals. First and most important, try to define why do you need social media? Do you want to win new customers and increase sales or do you want to provide a better service to your existing customers and increase your brand loyalty? Do you want to understand better your competition or are you more focused on online ranking and targeted advertising? When you determine your goal, you should determine your target persona or your ideal customer. This will help you choose the media that you should concentrate on and thus achieving lower cost per lead and cost per customer. To describe your target persona, answer these questions. What is their demographic information? What is their job? What are their goals? What problem do you help them solve? Where do they look for information? And what kind of experience are they looking for when seeking your kind of product? Once you have determined why do you need social media and who your target persona is, you have to choose the media that consists of your quality prospects. Facebook has proven to be a great B2C sales and targeted advertising. LinkedIn, on the other hand, is focused on B2B and it allows you to connect directly to your prospective customers. Twitter can be great as a research tool. You can pick a topic that concerns you and join the discussion. Instagram can be used for branding. By positioning your brand stories in forms of nice photographs, you can create brand visibility among your audience. When it comes to content marketing, there is much more to social media than just posting. Listening is far more important than speaking. By joining discussion groups that are related to your product, you can collect important information and feedback. Listen to what your target personas are talking about, especially when they are talking about your competition. By doing this, you can discover what matters to your customers and what they like or dislike when it comes to your kind of product. And don't just collect followers. Plan your media mix to build a strong sales pipeline by connecting with quality prospects. If, for example, 100 people liked your page and you get one like per post, these are not your quality prospects. You can use social media to test your ideas. Try posting different topics and monitor the reaction of your followers. A general rule that is proven to be successful is 411 rule. Post four posts that will help or entertain your audience, one to humanize your brand and one to promote your product. Use analytics to find out when your audience is online and be consistent in publishing your content. Try to have similar number of contents published at similar time every day. Once you have quality prospects following you, it will be much easier to turn them into your buyers. If you want to turn your followers into buyers, check the people who viewed your profile or are engaged in your content and start a conversation with them. The easiest way to do this is to seek recommendation, endorsement or a testimonial. Make a small questionnaire and ask your quality prospects to participate. Offer a free ebook, case study or a free sample of your product. In order to overcome the zone between demonstration, proposal and purchase decision, share relevant content, tag, mention and address your contents with content that they find interesting. Social media also provides data that you can use as a support for a CRM. Use insights and analytics to get the information concerning your followers, how old they are, where do they live, and much more. Most social media provides metrics that you can use to set your KPIs and goals. Use numbers such as page likes, reach, impressions, engaged audience to measure your growth regarding previous month or your competition. By tracking the traffic to a website generated by social media, you can determine which channels gives the best results. To get the full picture, compare these numbers to the comments provided by your customers. 
track how many of the comments were positive or negative and were their issues resolved. With continuous education and sharing useful content that is relevant to your customer interest or challenges, as well as providing good service, you can turn your people into your loyal brand advocates. All of this can be achieved when you have a social media strategy in place. And the most important rule is to be patient. Social media may not give results immediately, but by implementing social media strategy, you can build a strong base of quality prospects that will result in increased sales. Good luck.